Hey, Rowan. You want to tell me why your superhero costume is lying on the bathroom floor filled with shit? What? Oh, my God. What did you do? I didn't do anything. You shit your pants, and then you took a shower, and you just left your costume lying on the floor, didn't you? Did not? Roland, that is disgusting. Wait a, whoa, wait a minute. Look, let me explain. My costume was itching me, so I went into the bathroom and changed into Mr. Taking a Shower Guy costume and just left the costume in there. Well, why is there shit all over the washcloths, too? The washcloths are just for show. Those are brand new washcloths. The only thing I can guess is somebody else must have gone into the bathroom, put my costume on, shit in it, and left it there. That is the only logical explanation. All right. Which one of you people went into the bathroom, put my costume on, and shit in it? Wow, I'm disappointed in you people. I gotta go. I'm disgusted with everyone. Who do you think it was? So, what did you think of Molly? Oh, what a nightmare. God. I mean, yeah, she's attractive and smart and funny. She's exactly the type of person I could see myself falling in love with. But boy, with an attitude like that, it's no wonder she can't find a date. Molly. Wait, he didn't mean what? So it wasn't love at first sight, was it? Are you really asking us that? Are you not listening to the story? No, I'm sorry. No, I'm just, forget it. Anyway, after that debacle, I assumed I'd never see him again. But then, a few days later, I was browsing in my favorite used bookshop, and guess who was there? Who? Joel. Hmm. Honda, that's him. That's the jerk that I met at Bob and Brenda's Halloween party. Oh, Lordy. Ooh, this could get ugly. Hey. Hi. Howdy. Hi. Again? What are you doing here? What am I doing here? I'm looking for a book. What are you doing here? I'm a regular here. Yeah, regular beanbag. You know, maybe you'd feel more comfortable in a corporate mega bookstore chain like Brams and Nurbles. Why don't you just calm down? Don't tell me to calm down. What if I don't want to calm down? Stop trying to fix me. Okay, I'm going to step out of the crossfire here. Yeah, me too. Look, Missy, my brother and I are here to buy something for our bubby. Oh, your bubby? Yeah, my bubby, my grandmother. I had a grandmother. Her name was Arlene Crabtree. She died recently. We were very close. I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you. Can I help you find something for your bubby? Well, uh, yeah, I'm looking for maybe a fiction book. You like fiction books? Hey, just because I work for a big corporation doesn't mean I don't like fiction books. In fact, fiction books is one of my favorite kinds of books. You have to be kidding me. Do you, do you like fiction? Like it. I try love it. Oh, my I, God. That's crazy. I, I mean, I've never met anyone else who likes fiction. That is too funny. That is literally too funny. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, well, uh, I should probably get going. Yeah, sure. We've got. Yeah. I've got. Okay.